I'm Imogen and welcome to my channel. I make plant related content every Friday and I think this video might be a bit of a controversial one as I'll be doing I guess the opposite of a haul so talking about the plants which I won't be buying. First I just want to say that I don't judge you if you like these plants or have them in your collection. This video is more just a bit of fun and not anything sort of critical or serious. Plus, if you do like these plants, I guess it's good because there's less competition with one less customer in the market for these plants. Also, it's just more interesting if not everyone likes the same plants because it means that everybody's collection looks different. But yeah, with that disclaimer being said, onto the list. So this list isn't in any particular order, but first is the Monstera Deliciosa Albo Variegata. So I really love my regular Monstera Deliciosa, you can see it behind me and it's putting out new leaves and I think that it's a great plant and I love the shape of the leaves and how it grows and how easy it is but I'm just not fussed about the big white splodges of the Albo Variegata. This is especially because decent sized ones seem to be about £150 and I've even seen unrooted cuttings for £100 each and I'm just not going to pay that. I think if I did own the plant I'd be stressed about it reverting but equally probably stressed as well about it getting too variegated and becoming unsustainable if it had loads of white in every leaf. So yeah, basically it's expensive and I don't want to be stressed out by a plant so I won't be getting it anytime soon. But that being said, I do like the Thai constellation variegation because I think the white speckles are quite pretty but I won't be getting another big monstera anytime soon and would rather use the space for other plants. Next up, I think it's fair to say is a bit of a divisive plant and that is the Philodendron Pink Princess. So this plant I just straight up don't like how it looks, even ignoring the inconsistent colour and variegation. I just haven't seen any pictures where it doesn't look sort of leggy and awkward and just not very nice to me. Now this might be because people take cuttings which then makes the plant look more leggy and I might think it looks nicer if it was sort of left to grow in fully and became a bit more bushy but I don't think I've seen many pictures like that. Now when these plants do have the variegation I don't know if it's the way that people edit the pictures because I haven't seen this plant in real life but the pink looks like some artificial candy floss bubblegum pink which just looks kind of fake and unnatural even though I know it's not and next to the green it just looks kind of weird to me and that's kind of not even mentioning the issues with it reverting or the high price tag that it currently has but this is one plant that I can't see myself getting. So next are a few more philodendrons. Firstly the philodendron Florida Beauty which has yellow variegation and to a certain extent the philodendron Florida Ghost as well which is the one with white leaves. Now I truly do not understand why these plants are so popular and they're on people's wish lists. I think I'm just not really a fan of yellow variegation in the case of the Florida Beauty because I just associate yellow leaves with plants being under or over watered and I just can't really connect yellow leaves to a healthy plant. And with the Florida Ghost I just look at white leaves and see them as being unsustainable and not good for the plant. So again really expensive plants and for both of these I'm just not fussed about them and will not be buying them. So this next plant is quite a popular one at the moment and that is the Philodendron Varicosum. Now I don't hate this plant entirely. I think the leaves are absolutely beautiful, they're big and velvety and almost ripply but I just can't stand the hairy petioles. I don't know what it is but they just make me feel a bit funny. I've seen someone compare them to spider's legs and even though I'm, I'm not scared of spiders or anything, it, no it's, it's just not for me. This also applies to I think the philodendron squamiferium which I think also has hairy petioles as well as some of the begonia types with the same thing. I just can't really explain it, they kind of make me shudder a bit and I don't really want them. Regardless of how nice the leaves are, 
I just won't be getting any of these plants. The final philodendron on this list is the philodendron Joepii? Joepi? Now, to me, it just looks like slugs or caterpillars have got to its leaves. There are other philodendrons with this sort of bottom heavy leaf shape and massive lobes, such as the 69686, but at least with that plant, the narrow middle part is smooth and sort of flows into the rest of the leaf, whereas that part of the Joepii is kind of uneven and wobbly and it's not symmetrical, which is why I think it looks like it's been eaten rather than having grown that way. So yeah, just another one that's really expensive and I don't even think looks nice. If you're a philodendron fan, you'll be glad to know that that section is over. And this next one is one that I don't actively dislike, but it's just one that I get a bit disappointed by, which is the Flamingo Anthurium. Now this sounds so petty, but it's when a shop might post, oh, we've got lots of Anthurium in, and my mind immediately goes to Clarinervium, Magnificum, Crystallinum, all beautiful velvety plants, and then it ends up being Flamingo Anthurium instead. And they're not bad plants or anything. I don't think I would get one, but they're fine, just a bit dated, and the flowers look kind of plasticky and fake, and in general they're just a bit meh. But I guess compared to the other plants on this list, they are comparatively cheap. I think they're like a tenner for a plant, and you can probably get them for less than that in supermarkets or IKEA. So at least it has that going for it. The next one is the Pilia peperomioides variegated splash sugar, I think mojito is another name of one. With all of these the variegation isn't very strong and it's kind of pale green, creamy, inconsistent flecks on the leaf. So I think it just looks like it's got pests of whitefly or spider mites without the webbing, which just makes it look like it's not a healthy plant. Now obviously variegated plants are going to be in demand because they're a mutation of the sort of normal ones, but to me surely there has to be a cutoff of when the variegated plant looks just like an unhappy version of the regular one. Normal Pilio peperomioides aren't as trendy and popular as they were in say 2018-2019, so now they're really accessible which makes it all the more strange to me that these variegated ones can sell for 30 to 40 pounds and I'm just not interested in them. Okay, so the final plant on this list is obscenely priced, which is the variegated Monstera adansonii. The price, I cannot stress this enough, is absolutely eye-watering. A plant with three leaves for one and a half thousand pounds I've also seen a one to two leaf plant for over £2,000, which is like the price of a secondhand car. Also, £1,000 for a one leaf unrooted cutting. Now, I, d I don't want to shame the sellers for these prices, like obviously people are still buying them, but regardless of what the plant is, unless it's like a fully grown 100 year old tree or something, I just can't wrap my head around paying that much money for a plant that might die, or in the case of the cutting, might not even root. My mind is just blown and it would stress me out so much. So out of all of the plants on this list, the variegated Monstera adansonii is one that I couldn't even contemplate getting at this point in time. And that's all of the plants on this anti-wish list, anti-haul, don't quite know what I'm calling it, but as I said at the start, this video is just a bit of fun and some of the plants, like the variegated Monstera and the Flamingo Anthurium, are like in other people's home, but just not mine. I'd love to know if you feel the same way about any of these plants or disagree with me and want to tell me I'm wrong, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next Friday for another planty video. Bye!